For the first time in three years, the Syrian regime is back in control of its frontier with Jordan. This military convoy flying Russian and Syrian flags rumbled towards the Nasi border crossing minutes after opposition fighters agreed surrender terms. They had little choice in the face of overwhelming Russian firepower. The fighters will hand over heavy weapons and thousands of them and their families will be given safe passage to opposition-held areas in the north of Syria. Syrian government forces swept through Dara province backed up by Russian airstrikes. But as part of the surrender terms, they'll leave four villages they'd captured earlier. These and the rest of the border area will be supervised by the Russian military. For Bashar al-Assad, it was a small price to pay for taking back the border. This is a vital trade route that the regime would eventually want to reopen with Jordanian agreement. Dera covers most of the area held by the opposition in southwest Syria, one of their last remaining strongholds. They still hold Kanetra province at the frontier with the Israeli-occupied Golan Heights. Recovering control of this area is Assad's next goal. Nearly three weeks of fighting for Dera has displaced more than 330,000 Syrians, according to the UN. Tens of thousands of them headed to the Jordanian border, where they've been stuck with little or no access to food, water and sanitation. The Jordanian government says the return of Syrians massed along its border is now a priority. And those displaced people will need to feel confident that it's safe to return home. So the Jordanians say they've discussed guarantees with concerned parties. That's the Russians who will be expected to protect the Syrians from any feared regime reprisals. Bernard Smith, Al Jazeera, on the Jordan-Syria border.